All right, what's up, everybody? Dustin Koppel with Global Martial Arts University. Today, I have Jesse Denton helping me out, one of my black belts here in, in uh, Knoxville. Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of different videos about this United uh, passenger being dragged out of the plane and a lot of different types of techniques that people would do, but realistically, one thing that they're forgetting is that they're in an aisle. You know, there's a lot of movements where if he's dragging me, <clears throat> People were doing spinning things and coming through and striking and striking and kicking and whatnot. Well, the problem with that is, like I said, you're forgetting that you're in an aisle. You're not gonna have room to be able to throw your legs up, spin around. Even if I try to roll, I mean, things can go wrong. I'm sure a lot of us have been on an airplane, very, very tight space. So we wanna think about our basic principles here. So if I'm being dragged, it's just like a wrist grab, nothing changes. I'm gonna attack the opening, clapping my hands together, bringing them through. Now I don't wanna stay here, but once again, we have the aisles to deal with, so I can't spin around and try to get to a back position. Plus, somebody that's standing and somebody that's on the ground, uh, two, two totally different things when it comes to fighting. Yes, I can try my best to kick them and whatnot, but he could still easily, you know, redirect this leg when I kick, and now I'm in trouble. And I don't want that. So it's a lot easier when somebody's pulling you, their momentum's already going back. So as I redirect here, I want to figure four and get up. Look how much space we just created. That's what we want. Plus, realistically, in that aisle, that's going to be most likely my only option to turn around and then deal with somebody. So. Even if you're being dragged and you're in a wide open space, and I have lots of room, I still don't want to try to turn because that gives him a lot of time to readjust as well. This motion is simple. He can't see that coming. He sees my legs start slipping around. Well, he's going to adjust and, all right, and I'm going to end up in a worse spot. Even if I'm really quick, he already has the advantage because he's on his feet. So, we want to try to get to our feet as fast as we possibly can. So all we're doing is boom, pulling our hands in. The other thing that we could do is maybe he has his grip reversed. All right, well, then we just pull out. So we're just going where the thumb is, just main principles of a wrist grab. In, or, okay, other way. Or we're just going out. Getting up, basically in our figure four, and then facing it. All right, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.